High Definition from News Channel 5. This is Live on 5. If you are one of the millions of people plagued by chronic sinus problems, this new approach to sinus surgery may be for you. The inventor of a new device flew cross-country to Cleveland to have his surgery done here this morning. Here's an exclusive look at this new tool and the man who invented it. In many ways, 43-year-old Josh Macauer is just like other sinus sufferers. As long as I can remember, I've always suffered from chronic sinusitis, uh, headaches, pain, pressure, you know, it just, it's been a lifelong kind of problem. But what sets him apart from the rest of us is that Macauer is a doctor and engineer. So a couple of years ago, instead of just complaining about his sinusitis, he invented something to help other doctors make it go away, balloon sinuplasty. I thought that it might be possible that cardiovascular tools, the same ones that they use for balloon angioplasty, might have an application here. Dr. Macauer flew all the way from California to Cleveland so that he could have Howard Levine do the surgery. He's the doctor who trains other surgeons on how to use Macauer's invention. What's different about this from some of the traditional sinus surgery is the ability to preserve tissue to, to minimize the amount of trauma. Here's how the tool works. The surgeon threads a flexible wire guide right into the sinus cavity then passes a little balloon through it. The balloon gets dilated. It uh, will enlarge the sinus opening. We take out the balloon, and the opening uh, remains in the majority of patients. Dr. Levine says the biggest risk associated with the surgery is that about two out of 100 people may not have their sinus stay open, and the surgeon would have to go back. But Dr. Levine says overall, patients have done well. There actually are health surveys that determine what is the quality of life for a patient and those surveys show statistically significant data that there is improvement in quality of life. And Dr. Levine says that his friend's surgery went very well today. Dr. Macauer is recovering nicely. If you think you might be a candidate for this, it's for people with recurrent sinusitis or sinus disease who have not already had surgery. To date, about 10,000 people have had this done. Medical breakthroughs. I'm always impressed.